Good day to you. I want to emphasize today that every day we read the word and as the Spirit of the Lord move on the, on the word that we read, it becomes the prophecy for the day. So that means what God has in his word for us today. We hear from the Lord, we see with the Lord, we feel with the Lord and we move in it. This is the purpose of prophecy. This is the purpose of prophetic word. This is the purpose of the gift of prophecy. If we do not get it from the Lord daily, we begin to want an esoteric voice from someone else about our daily living. This is not New Testament prophecy. People who are imbibing the word of God, who are hearing the voice of God, are a great safeguard for the minister because he knows his people are listening to God's voice, are reading God's word, getting their instructions from the Lord. This is absolutely necessary for every believer. If not, we will go to places where we are told a nice word and we again and again want to hear what God has for us from another. This cannot be our Father in heaven. A father will speak to his children. God the Father will speak to his children by the Holy Spirit. So we have daily direction. We have hourly direction. We have seasonal direction of God's best for us. Next step, next stretch, next spring. What he has kept for us and how we are moved into it is the purpose of the gift of prophecy. So daily reading the voice of God. Daily hearing the word of God. This is the way we grow up in the call that God has for us. Substituting this with hearing someone else laying hands on us and speaking a good word, a nice word, becomes an addiction. This will corrupt you and this will corrupt the so-called man of God where he's under pressure to perform and say something to suit your ears. Now, we do not deny the office of the prophet. We do not deny the gift of prophecy. But it begins with you hearing the voice of God. And for your children, that you speak God's best and you discern God's will for them. Parent, never let up. Minister, never let up. God always has something more coming. This is how we overcome. They overcame the devil with the blood of the Lamb and with the word of their testimony, they didn't love their lives even unto death. So there is a voice of testimony from God and from our call. So we grow in inside us, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Knowledge of Christ growing in us, the power of his the crucifixion and the power of his resurrection growing in us. This is what grows us day by day. Do not substitute this for any other words. God bless you.